So here I am at Slimbridge and I'm on my way to look for some ducks to paint. Hello. Um, yes. Could you tell me the direction to the mandarin ducks? Thank you. Okay, I think I found my spot. Now let's see if I can catch the ducks. Before I start painting, I mix up my colours and I'm using burnt umber, ultramarine blue, scarlet lake, yellow ochre, yellow lake and titanium white. Here I've concentrated on the background colours, the ones that I can see in and reflected in the water. So I have to map out where I want to put the birds and um, That's the tricky part. So, okay, they've gone away. How do you catch the shape of a duck if you if they don't keep still? Well, there's something that happens when you watch birds and that is they very often make the same type of movements. So here you can see them swimming in one direction and then after a while they're coming back again in the other direction. The other thing to do is to keep changing the position as I'm doing here until you're happy with how it looks. Not the first duck that comes into the picture but the second one is the female duck that I'm working on at the moment. When I can, I try and catch something that I see in the duck, so either it, a colour or a shape. And if the duck isn't there or it's doing something different, I work on the background. Oh, they've all got their crests up now. Can you hear them? That's the, the males making that funny noise. Let's just watch some brown in there. Because it's kind of muddy water. And then... Ooh, ooh. At the beginning of the painting I might be happy enough with the overall shape but then I keep refining it as I'm doing here. Here again I'm working on the shape but notice how thickly I've put the paint on and then I start to blend it in and with the water I did a lot of that 
putting on the paint quite thickly, then blending it, then putting paint on again. So that's nearly it. I've really enjoyed my nearly three hours of painting with the ducks and I'm now just putting on the last details. And after that I want to go and find out what the duck was that I was painting. So I've just been painting the hooded maganza and the male makes a sound like a pickerel frog when displaying. Well, in my painting, I didn't show him displaying or sounding like a frog. If you're out and about, why not try and catch a moment, not with your camera, but with a sketch? It's always good to have pen and paper at the ready, and even better, some oil paints. Until next week. <laughs>